glory to the Lord Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior now I want us to look at something very important regarding the issue of the conversion of the popular American and global celeb by name Kanye West Mr. West Kanye West a lot of issues have surrounded the conversion of this popular individual there are lots of Christians who are so happy that such a person who was involved in secular or worldly music has now converted into Christianity and that he now says he is a believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that he reads his Bible and he believes Jesus is the way to heaven the only way to heaven of course it is not surprising that there are all kinds of ideas there are some who say leave him alone it is just a publicity stunt others are saying that no the man is serious and he has indeed converted well I don't know what you think personally but I want to say that your opinion and my opinion do not matter in this case but it is the opinion of the Lord who sees and weighs the spirits the Lord of the spirit the Lord who weighs the heart of men he is the only one who can determine the genuineness of the conversion of Kanye West and so therefore what do we have to do we need to go to the compass of life the Bible if you go to the book of Matthew chapter 13 verse 30 let both grow together until the harvest and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn now the lord of the harvest is the one speaking the first question i want to ask you if you are grappling with the issue of Kanye west conversion i want to ask you are you the lord of the harvest you are not god you are not jesus christ therefore listen to what the lord of the harvest said he says allow them to grow together allow them to grow together hmm? I don't want to go into the historicity of this story but it's like they thought that somebody an enemy has come to sow into the good plants but the Lord said allow them to grow together now this is a gentleman who is moving around going to their prisons going to all kinds of places sharing the gospel preaching to prisoners and people in fact he is moving to places many of you Christians cannot even go you are not his judge allow him allow him he says he is converted he's a Christian you cannot judge God knows whether he's serious or not it's not up to you to judge leave him alone the bible says let both grow together if you think somebody is good somebody is bad if you think it's not all right allow them to grow together okay gather you together first the tears and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn let both grow together at the right time it is the lord who will determine 
what is wheat and what is stir. Only God knows. Allow him and leave him alone. But the best thing you can do is to pray for him. Because it might be that the Lord is using him to do wonders. Look at what the Lord did through Paul. He was called Saul and he became Paul. And he did marvelous things for the Lord. He wasn't there with the Lord, just like the, um, like the disciples. The disciples were there, Peter and Co. Paul wasn't there. He was a murderer, chasing them here and there. And yet, the Lord used him. You are not his judge. Let both grow together. May the Spirit of the Lord be with you and strengthen you and encourage you wherever you are. May God bless you and let us keep praying for him. I love you in Jesus' name. This is your brother Collins.